to Aaron Plays. This will be episode 16 of my Fire in the Lake playthrough, with me playing as the US, and the other three factions being played by the Trawl expansion bots. In the last episode, we had the US here um, concentrate via the use of the airlift and stop the invasion from the North Vietnamese, whereupon they reacted by invading Cambodia that was on the use of the card, of the event on the prior card. Um, so we're up now onto this burning bonds card with the VC going first or having first opportunity on that card. So let's have a look, what card number is it? It's 107. And what state are we in for the other factions to playing their critical events? These ones here, pivotal events, use the correct terminology. Okay, so Tet Offensive, because the only two that are eligible are the VC and the Arvin. The VC, you've got to have 20 gorillas in the south. Considering they only have 30 gorillas to start with, and there's 21 still sitting here in their available forces, they haven't got 20, they, they haven't got enough gorillas in the south to do the um, Tet Offensive. And the Arvin. If two plus cars in the old, yeah, that one's done. And less than 20 US troops on the map. I think on the last count, there was about 23. I haven't, I haven't well, I've lost a couple, so maybe a recount. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 22 years, so neither pivotal event is able to be played. So now going on to the actual card itself. It's card number 107. Let's check card 107, Let's see if that's critical for anybody. Or for either of those two, 107. It's actually critical for both the VC and the Arvin. Okay. So let's bring this display up because the VC are first eligible. Current event is critical and effective. The critical status was determined by the use of this. Card here, card 107, is critical for both VC and the Army. The question is that, is it effective? So let's check the reading. So anti-regime self-immolation, the um, insurrectionists all, all, always check the lower box. Shift Saigon one level towards active opposition, aid minus 12. Ouch. So looking on, whoops, on here, a shaded or not, we've got to see if it's an effective event. Okay. So removes or reduces aid is an effective event for them, for the VC. So, sorry, going back on that card again. So current event is critical and effective. They play the event. Right, so let's read that in detail now. So shift Saigon, one level towards active opposition. We're currently at active support, so they now go to passive support. Okay, 
Well, that's just six VPs down the, um, six points off my my score. The port plus available and aid minus twelve. Wow, that hurts. A is only 18, so it goes now to 6. That's going to require some thinking about. Um, because after the next coup, the Arvin will be struggling with resources if that A stays so low. I mean, they're all right at 49 resources at the present moment, but um, there's also going to be a drop in aid due to. US casualties as well. So yes. Hmm. That hurt. Next up, the Arvin. So there's the second eligible. So active faction will be first eligible on upcoming critical event. Well, they are first eligible, so let's check if event 72 is critical for them. It is not. There's no no C there. So though they're, they're first acting, it's not critical for them. Actually first I just want upcoming critical event and right, so ignore the stage one. Stage two. First eligible chose op and SA and event is performed. No, they didn't choose op and SA. Will be first will be first eligible on upcoming card. They will be, so they pass. Interesting. Okay, so they pass, which grants them three resources. Obviously worried about that aid situation with the burning bonds. And that ends that card play. Uh, end faction play. End card play for a card. Okay. There's three factions now eligible. So let's again check pivotal events. Okay. NBA. That, that event is now eligible. Play if two plus cars in the RV only the box, yes, and more NVA troops than US troops on the map. Well, they have 40. There's only three sitting in the box here. So that takes them down to, um, there's 37 on the map, so there's more than that. So that card is eligible. This one hasn't changed. And the US one, and support plus, no, sorry, go through that in detail. Support plus available is greater than 40, and it's sitting at 32. So no, so the only one that is eligible is the Easter Offensive. Now, there are restrictions on when it can be played so. Any eligible non-player faction can play its pivotal event and current event is not critical and 1d6. Right, okay, so let's check if the current event that is outlined there, even though the second count on it, is it critical for them? It's card number 72. If I remember my quick look through, it wasn't critical for anybody. So there's a potential. Any eligible non-player faction can play its pivotal event and current event is not critical. It's not critical. And a D6 less than the number of cards in the Arvin leader box. There are two cards in the Arvin leader box. Okay. So it's got, this dial is going to be less than if it's so therefore on a roll of a one, the Easter offensive will begin. 
to five. So no. So no one plays at this stage a critical event. A pivotal event. Okay. So we know body count is not critical for Arvin. Current event is critical and effective. No, it's not. Next eligible could choose critical event. We know this is not critical for them either. So no, it's not. First choice and upcoming critical event. The Arvin won't be first choice, so no. Otherwise, op and essay. So they're doing an op and an essay. Special activity. It's that. There. It's where I draw from the cards. First card that comes up is Arvin L. Let's bring that up so we can have a look at it. Arvin L. Okay. So NVA base or NVA control in any two plus pop space. There isn't now. There was before the um, before my troops went in there and kicked kicked some. Uh, NVA out, yeah, because they have coin, uh, NVA control. So current status is, no, there is not. So that there means draw a new card. Yeah, okay, draw that one. Next one up is Arvin M. Let me shift that across. NVA control plus NVA basis is equal to or greater than 14. I think it was, I think it was about an eight. There it goes, so, uh, at an eight. So no, Ooh, draw another card. Okay, next card up is Arvin J. Scroll that around, Arvin J. There, okay. Any two pop space with support where Arvin cubes exceed US cubes. Any two population space with support where Arvin cubes exceed US cubes. Well, Hoy to start with. Um, and Hoi and Gong, as good as said, support. So Hoi actually has no support in there. That one doesn't apply. Um, but unlock Saigon, uh, Hien Gang. Okay, so that card, only two pop, yes. 3D6 available Arden pieces. Well, currently is available Arden pieces is 12. Let's roll those 3D6. So that was 12. 3D6 is equal to or less than the available Arden pieces. Around, around equal to, so the answer is yes. So they will train. Place all available ranges. They have no available rangers. Place cubes. Okay, so let's move that down. That way. Let's follow the normal dictates of train. Purpose. Augment Arvin forces and support. Location cities or provinces without NVA control. Cost is three resources per space where Arvin placed. Procedure, a city or US Arvin base, place one or two rangers or up to six Arvin cubes. Then if desired in one train space, replace three Arvin cubes with an Arvin base, although they've got no bases. Or if Arvin troops, please in coin control, pacify one or two levels. Right, so that's the actual rules. What are they gonna do part of this? There are no available ranges. 
base in cubes. Um, place one base in, well, I can't place a base. No base, shift the passive support for maximum 1d3. So they're going to do at least some passive support. All right. Shift two passive support. Ah, so they won't raise it to full support. Of course not, that would help me. Um, so they will shift somewhere up to passive support. Okay, and we'll decide train space. So let's see where they actually wish to train. Because where is it place cubes? That's looking at this chart here. Let's just zoom in on the Arvin part of that. Okay. So here, place cubes or ranges. First option is city or province in South Vietnam without coin control. City or province, well, there's quite a few of those which don't have coin control. Um, now, they're still under the restrictions of the um, The train option itself, which is city or province without NVA control. Okay, so they could theoretically the city or USR place one. Augment well, Arwen support supports this. Cities or provinces without, without NBA control. Three rules. If city or US Arwen base, place one or two ranges or up to six Arwen cubes. Okay, so can't place in here because there's not a US base or, or an Arwen base or a city. So we're looking at a place without coin control which fits those criteria. So whether there's a city or a US base without coin control. It doesn't look like there is any. No. So going back on that one there, city or province south without coin control, they can't fulfill that one. Now, place with most pop. Well, the place with the most population is Saigon. Will that fulfill the train obligation? Yes, city or province without NVA control, yes. If city or US are in a place, yes, up to six are in cubes. Okay, so yes, so the, that, that will be their first option. It's a place in Saigon. When it comes to placing cubes, uh, I'm going to put that back to normal, put it to scroll. Peace priorities. Cubes, US NB that are in alternate police first, then troops. So they're placing six because they will place the maximum. So police first, one, two, then the alternate, three, four, five, six. We'll now see if they actually continue. That's looking at the card. A three. So three or more, and they will continue. Uh, no, it's got to exceed that number, four, five, or six. No. Um, let me just check that. 
I mean, I know it failed anyway, but I, I still want to check it. It's called the activation number, and a non-player faction must roll greater than their activation number to do something in another another province. So, um, so they've done the train in in here in Saigon. Um, they're not going to do a train in any more spaces. Um, checking, so there was no base shift to passive support for maximum 1d3. Well, that's already at passive support. If there was another train space that they were doing, then they might have taken, for example, I was hoping they might do something in Hoi. Um, they could have taken that to passive support, but they were stopped by the failed activation role. So I'm not going to get any shift to passive support anywhere. So next up is they do then the special activity. So it's either going to be a govern or transport, but they look at govern first. In up to two spaces to add two plus patronage using govern. Zero aid, add aid using govern. I'll be zooming tick plus zero aid. Well, we know they've got some aid, so I presume that means if they've got no aid, but I'll, I'm going to check that now. Okay, that means if the patronage doesn't add at least, sorry, if the govern doesn't add at least two patronage, all the aid is at zero, they will add aid. Govern. So that's um, very generous of them. But what they're trying to do is rip off the aid that's coming in and giving it to their cronies. So we'll look at govern, obtain aid or patronage. It's got to be a company and train or patrol, which it is a company with train. Location, one or two coin control spaces with support and not Saigon, nor selected for training. So pretty much anywhere, one or two coin control spaces with support and not Saigon for training. Each space add three times pop to aid. Or if more Arvin cubes and US cubes, transfer one times pop from aid to patronage. Okay. So I'm assuming there is on here, there is a govern option. Just zoom in a little bit on that. So they're looking at the places with most population first. Okay. Where there's more coin troops than US troops. Well, I'll use a black one. Is that province eligible? One or two coin control spaces with support, has got support and not Saigon, nor selected for training. So that will do. There's two pop, any other places with two pop and those criteria fulfill. Doesn't look like it. No. So in one or two coin control spaces with support and not Saigon, nor selected for training, each space add three times pop to aid. We know we're not going to do aid. Or if more Arvin cubes and US cubes, transfer one times pop from aid, transfer one times pop from aid to patronage and shift one level to neutral. So shifting one level to neutral. That was top one times pop, the pop was two. So two goes off the aid. It's been hammered and they hammer it some more. And that patronage gets two. Hmm. 
I've been going for a solo in here. <laughs> I'm starting to think my main opponent in this is my erstwhile ally. I mean, he's sitting here hammering the VC for them, hammering the NVA, and they're going to pocket it all for themselves. I said, I have a nice base here for them. It's going to require a little bit of a rethink. Okay. So that's the first base they do it. You can do it in up to two. That was one of the highest populations. So looking in the outer space, which has supports, more of their cubes than US cubes. So the police could do it in Ganthal. Um, ah, here. Actually, I missed that one. Support. There's no US there. Stop the police rampantly cor using corruption to gain as much cash and finance as possible. So that is the second province that drops. That's another two. It goes from aid. Patronage. Wow. That puts them one point away from victory. Well, if they maintain it through to the next coup. And it hits me. I'm so far away. It's um, okay. I think we've got to have a little bit of a chat with this um, this government who, who's running it. Nai Khan. Hmm. Anyway, that's them and their special activity completed. So end faction plate. Next up on the card is the NBA. I always hope they're going to come in and, and, and... All right, okay, so active faction will be first eligible on upcoming critical event. There won't be the last faction on the next. God, so first Edward chose open SA, which they did. An event is performed or critical and will be effective. So let's look at this card 72, which I think ah, it wasn't critical, but was it performed? 72. It is performed for the NBA. So first level choice up and an event is performed or critical and effective. So looking on here again, card 72, it is performed for the NBA, but is it effective? Right, let's have a look at the, what the actual event says. Body count. Instead it's VC, place one VC gorilla in each active opposition space and two NBA troops in each Laos Cambodia space. Place one VC gorilla. All right, so is it effective for North and two NBA troops in each Laos Cambodia space? So looking at NBA pieces or NBA terms of the map. Azra increases. So it's an effective. It also, also helps their VC buddies. So they're going to choose the event. So let's go through it step by step. Place one VC gorilla in each active opposition space. Active opposition. So one, that's passive. 
Oh. Not much active opposition to me anymore. Okay, so they get to place one VC guerrilla and two NVA troops in Laos and Cambodia, each space of Laos and Cambodia. Right. Well, the first place they take the, the troops from, is Laos and Cambodia, is from here all the way down. That's every space. So they've got troops. Now, when it comes to placing things on the board, first place you take from is, is your available forces. You can then take troops from... Um, other areas on the map. Okay, so two troops into into here. One troop, so that's, that's all the troops they have on the map. Now, so there was another troop there and two troops down here. Where are they taken from? Probably from the place with the most troops at the present. Let's not move. So, hmm, this is an interesting one. Where do they take them from? So it's not a move. I'm going to have to look that up. I can't find any specific mention of what to do in this case. Um, it does say that the non-player factions will do to the maximum extent of each card and event played. Um, two NVA troops in each Laos and Cambodia space. So they want to place two troops in each Laos and Cambodia space. I'm just not sure where they would take them from. First off was here, which they've placed. So as I can't seem to find any other reference, I'm going to randomize. They have three spaces with troops. One, two, three. Um, so I'm going to do that straight down. One, two, three, four, five, six of the bottom. To see where each piece will be placed. So for the first one here, two, I'm taking it from central, uh, yeah, one or two central mouse. For the first one into the Shinhakaville. It comes from Southern Laos. And the last one, it comes from Central Laos. So that fulfills that card. Um, if any of you watchers can make a comment about that, if I, if I did something correct there, um, there's a, obviously a rule that I'm missing or didn't quite understand. Please help me on that one. Um, any comments regarding anything, obviously much appreciated, but um, on that specifically, uh, that concludes the play on that card, I do believe. Two factions are played. Yep. Okay, so end card play. In faction play, end card play, draw card. VC and me. Okay. I'm going to end this video at this point. Um, so, um,
If you enjoyed what you've been watching, please click the like and the subscribe if you've not done so already. Any comments that I just mentioned, much appreciated. Till next time. Bye.